Hi Scorpio, this is your reading with me for August, September and October 2021 for love. So yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to have a look into that um, and we will see exactly what is coming through um, and what messages we have for you. And yeah, I've got your cards ready to go um, right here. So we'll look into everything. Also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. It's all down below. Private paid readings with me also down below. They're actually done same day as well. So really, really happy to offer those, you know, and um, of course the intention items are also on my website as well. So the readings and the intention items are of course on shopmoonlightguidance.com uh, you can check it out there there's also the review section as well because thousands of people have seen results with these intention manifesting items so if you are interested there's handmade bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards um, and of course the intention pouches as well for different areas of your life be it love twin flames soulmate money career protection confidence healing so many items do check those out and um, they're meditated with and sage there's also divination coins charms pendulums crystals etc so yes everything is on the well it's down below and of course um, things are on my website as well so do check those out if you're interested um, and yeah let's begin Scorpio August well someone's thinking right I think that you're feeling enlightened here King of Swords. I am an upright reader. I thought I'd mention that. Ace of Cups. Fool. So, yeah, what's really quite fascinating here, um, and what's quite significant as well, is definitely the energies um, which I'm picking up on, especially with the hanged man is that there's quite a um there's quite a powerful energy here which goes to show that there's obviously someone who has a crush on you and that you may have thought about from time to time right and i feel like this person can really come into your life in August because the ace of cups here shows that the cup is so full that it's overflowing These feelings are so intense to the point where they cannot be suppressed any longer That's the kind of vibe I'm getting where someone who may have hidden their feelings for you May have swallowed their feelings for you and pretended like it doesn't exist swept it under the carpet every single time Finally the volcano is erupting you cannot hold it in it's that vibe when you shake that bottle of fizzy drink right and if you finally open it thinking it you know it's, it's just it's gonna be fine boom it goes everywhere that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting here which is pretty intense I'm not gonna lie and they are gonna be so so desperate to talk to you to get into contact with you and to say something and honestly when they do come to you they might just be very casual about things they might kind of even show that they don't care because they don't want to come off as desperate even though inside they are like dying of desperation from what I'm seeing okay so someone here obviously wants to take action the mind is suddenly enlightened and this happens sometimes where people just realize like oh my god I was so wrong I better go and fix that scenario situation thingy <laughs> wow <laughs> I'm so descriptive as your tarot reader thingy you know <laughs> they have to go and fix those things <laughs> so I just feel here that especially if you know something happened between the two of you they feel really bad they really really do and they just want to I mean they're they're so enlightened here like the king of swords is about I need to take action I need to say something I need to apologize you know yep let's circle back around to August in a second I just need to I need to move forward to September just energetically just see what's going on as well. Three of Pentacles. The ultimate card of teamwork and collaboration, isn't it? The ultimate card of wanting things to work. Wanting to do something. Yeah, Ace of Swords as well. Taking action. Communication. Mm-hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And that Virgo energy is coming through quite strong there. There you go, more Virgo energy. It's the Earth energy, right? Because you've got Virgo season as well in September. Okay, so 
they know your worth and your value. Trust me, okay? If they pretended like your worth and your value it didn't mean much, trust me when I say it means so much. So, 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 so much. It really does. I genuinely do believe and I genuinely do feel that they cannot hold back any further. You know, they just cannot go in the opposite direction. They feel like they can't, you know, say anything else. That is something you know, that we do, we do see here. I think that that is obviously quite significant. Um, so, one thing that I will say here is that the Three of Pentacles shows that they quite clearly, over these next two months, they want to do something towards you. They want to progress things towards you. They want to take action, which means that you don't have to do everything. All you have to do is kind of wait, watch, and see how things unfold and see how things develop. I think that the Queen of Pentacles is obviously very significant as well because the Queen of Pentacles literally does represent such a powerful and significant energy in terms of, um, you know, the energies moving forward. I think that the Queen of Pentacles represents that they really do see you as someone who is good for them, okay? Especially if they were, you know, kind of making you feel not good about the fact that you're kind and caring and they were always maybe going towards um, you know, other people who are, well, let's say superficial, they have recognized and realized their mistakes, okay, because some of them may have been doing that, they may have been just living a very superficial life or going towards other people being very superficial. When I say superficial, I don't necessarily mean just materialistic, I feel superficial is also to do with just living on the surface and not going any deeper as well, so, you know, that's another way to kind of put it as well. Sometimes when people say superficial, they just mean like, oh, they only care about, like, buying this and buying that, it's not necessarily that, I think that's more material, but yeah, superficial, like not digging very deep, you know? Um, so at least here they're digging very deep, my gosh, the hole is like so deep down that they, you know, they're really digging themselves into something. Um, so yes, the Four of Pentacles here shows that they finally want stability, security, and they want to settle down, which I think is really interesting, it's like they, they recognise that they just want to settle down, that they want to do something with their life, they want to progress, and they want to, um, yeah, they really want to go in that particular direction, which I think is very interesting, and they can't hold back anymore, interestingly enough, as well, so obviously they really want to, like, get their life together as well, you know, from what I see here, and they feel like you are that person. Now, whether you want to be that person, that's your choice, you know, I'm not saying that you have to accept everything that they're going to do towards you, that's your choice, you know, do you want someone who understands you from the beginning or has to go through issues to realize that you're the one you know what I mean like that that really is up to you but for sure what I see here is that they have this awakening in August and it leads them to do a lot more towards you um, here but more so in September as well to take action and to progress things now if we go to October We have the Nine of Cups, which means a manifestation of your one of your desires will come true, which can be to do with love. Okay, Three of Wands is interesting, because some of you may have waited a long time for this. Page of Swords, they are talking to you. And the Hierophant, they may say, like, hey, would you like to be exclusive? You know, would you like to take things further? I can see a future with you. Um, I would like to explore things further and see how things go. So it's very obvious that they do want to move things along with you, progress things along with you, and essentially see how things also go with you. So that's really what I see here in October. I mean, the Three of Wands shows, you know, that you might find in October things are a little quiet sometimes. But I feel like that's also because they're trying to reflect and understand what they also want to do at the same time. They want to really um, figure out what they want to um, say and do and, and things like that. So obviously that's something pretty significant that we are picking up on, which is, um, you know, super, super important as well. So that is something that we do have right here, which I think obviously is very, very um, important in many, many ways. So yep, that is pretty much what we have got right there, which I think is obviously super, super significant and also very important. Um, so yeah, that is basically what I am seeing and yeah, it's what we have got. So yep, October. October looks to be a month of sort of peace, and you're kind of just seeing how things go, 
I think that you're also quite happy that you have this interest from this person, but you're kind of just giving them space and time, and they're taking some space and time, and then they come forward with some communication to want to further progress things. So and that's how I see things happening. So Scorpio, this is your reading with me. Um, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. And do take care, everyone.